Hey everybody, this is Ryan McGlone. Thanks again for tuning in to another Bend, Oregon real estate market update. We decided to bring you our October update from an incredibly charming traditional craftsman home that we listed about a week ago up in the Aubrey Village neighborhood. So it's situated on a quiet little cul-de-sac. It's a nice, large 0.23 acre lot, 2,700 square feet, three or four beds, three and a half baths, just an outstanding flow on the main level floor plan. Master's on the main, tucked away behind the dining room. And then upstairs, you've got two bedrooms connected by a Jack and Jill bath, plus a little junior suite up there, and of course, a large family room. So an incredible property for someone who's looking for a larger home on Ben's Northwest side. We're priced at 6499. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a shout and check out the video on the property down below. So now let's go ahead and turn to uh, the market and, and talk a little bit about what's been going on in the local market here in Bend. So we've had an incredibly strong summer, just fast paced, a lot of growth in housing values over the course of the last couple months uh, in, in Bend. And, and we're starting to see that taper off a little bit as we head into our slower season. So the seasonal slowdown has begun and we might even be seeing a little bit of softening compared to that 10% year over year appreciation that we've gotten used to. If we take a look at median sales price, the median sales price for a home in Bend for the month of September came in at about $430,000. That's just about where we were for September last year. You know, I think part of the reason the number seems soft is because last year, September was the strongest performing month of the entire year. You know, uh, it was nearly, I think, close to $10,000 more in the upward direction compared to any other months last year. So it's a tough number for us to comp for this September. Uh, inventories have slowed down a little bit. They're up about 5%. We're sitting on about 3.6 months of supply compared to September 2017. And one number that has shifted a little bit is the number of units that went into contract last month. So the number of homes that went pending. Uh, we're down about 15% over last year, which is a pretty significant drop. However, this is the first month that we've seen that number slow down. And I think personally, this could be attributed to a couple of things. You know, first off, there is some news out there that a lot of the West Coast markets are starting to taper off. They're not necessarily uh, slowing down to the point where home prices are dropping, but they're just starting to slow down. And that could be creating some sort of anxiety or hesitation amongst buyers in our market here locally. And the other thing, you know, two other things that are going on. One, we've seen interest rates rise above 5%. That also might be uh, causing some buyers to step aside and take a look at their budgets and maybe make some adjustments before purchasing. And what I think is one of the largest things that's interesting that's going on is the number of new listings hitting the market for the month of August and September is down incredibly compared to what we've seen over the past several years. So for August, that number was down over 20%. And for September, we're down over 35%. That means that buyers are left shopping um, homes that have been sitting on the market for quite a while, and there's just not the same velocity of new and interesting product hitting the market. What that makes me think, if I was a seller, is I would take advantage of this opportunity, get my home on the market, and see if you could pick up some additional traffic just from the sheer lack of new listings on the market. Buyers, you know, there might be some ways to pick up uh, some uh, deals on some properties that have been hanging out there for a little bit. Um, since you know there isn't a lot of new inventory on the market. For those that might be questioning whether or not now is the time to buy and maybe you're sitting on the sidelines because you're hearing that things are slowing down a bit, you know, I'd kind of caution you a little bit there just because as we do head into spring, we typ typically seen, tend to see our market really take off. And if rates do continue to rise and you're sitting on the sidelines, you could end up shopping in the spring with prices that are at today's prices or potentially higher and paying uh, a steeper interest rate as we move into next spring. So if you have any questions about your local market, feel free to give us a call. We're always happy to help out. And thanks again for tuning into this update. And we look forward to speaking you to you again next month. Take care, everybody.